What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Spartacus Gods of the Arena. Uh started to record a minute ago. My computer just decided to shut down. Didn't update anything. Just shut down. So but anyways, um we are here once again. <sighs> Computers can be such <laughs> they can be such a pain sometimes. But anyways, man, we're back up and um, restarting this. So for all you guys that did not watch the review, did not watch the intro at all from the last video where I told you guys I'm moving the second episode of of um, or episode three to Thursday. Too bad for you. <laughs> anyways, you know, because a lot of uh, um, there was comments there were comments about it um so you know it just proves to me that you guys do not watch the intro do not watch the i don't even know why i even do it i might as well make two minute videos and just not review my videos review the episodes because you guys don't watch the reviews because if you watch the reviews you wouldn't know about little stuff like that um but anyways if you if you you are one of the few that do because i know some of you do but I know most of y'all don't. If, you know, I may get 200 views max. The first 24 hours of these videos going out. And I know probably it's probably like five people that might watch the, the, the review. They might come back to YouTube to watch a review. And I know it's tough. I know it's a lot to ask. You know, so I do not push it that much. because. But it, it's, it, it is something that hurts the channel if... You guys are not doing that, but I don't push it because I know I'm already taking you off of YouTube to go somewhere and watch the reactions. So it's kind of like, I don't know if it's too much to wax or too little. I don't really know. So I just don't push it. I just don't say anything about it much. You know, I just roll with the punches because I'm enjoying watching the show so much. Um, but I would appreciate it if you guys do watch the reviews. You can't you know what I'm saying? I can't say everything that I have to say during watching the video. And that's the reason why I do reviews so that you guys can understand. Because I need to have a presence on YouTube. I can't just have you guys on BitChute, on Google Drive and not have a presence on YouTube. Because that's where most of the audience that I want to grow is going to be. So now that we have that out of the way, Gods of the Arena Episode 3 is here. Okay, so... What has been happening? Batiatas has gained favor by doing the same shit that we know he did in season one. So you kind of understand that he's had this kind of mentality from a from earlier. You know what I'm saying? Um, from he got a taste of it. You know, he got a taste of it. Um, so he just goes off the deep end and just start doing stuff now, where you know at the cost of his own people you know what i'm saying yeah granted they're slaves but they're still people they're still people that he pretends that he likes you know what i'm saying but then he screws them over so it's like it's not very out of character for him to act that way you know what i mean so he got the primus he's got the primus um by putting um Gannicus against crixus good thing you know what i'm saying we wouldn't even know who crixus is today you know what I'm saying? If the guy had said, you know what I'm saying, gave the thumbs down and told Gannicus to kill him. Because we wouldn't know who Crixus is today. The the character that we know and love, you know. And I know I know this is based on a true story. Um, but you know, it's dramatized, so there's going to be you know what I'm saying, there's there's gonna be parts of it that is, you know, it's just imagination you know because because nobody's alive that was there when all of this was happening so they're just you know going off of the text of basically what they have the information that they have and creating the best story and they're doing an excellent job i'm enjoying it so much but anyways man we're gonna jump into this episode guys i'm imploring you i'm asking you not begging i'm asking you guys could you please come back and check out the reviews of the episodes please <laughs> but yes thank you guys so much i will see you for the review
Okay, so here we are. Episode 3 of Spartacus Gods of the Arena is done. And I'm enjoying it, man. I'm enjoying We finally got to see um, who was Batiata's father. Mind you, he's a dick. But, you know what I'm saying? He's a dick, but at the same time, he's speaking truth. But also, at the same time, he's kind of a coward. You get what I'm saying? He's kind of one of those people that's like, I have a position. I want to keep it. I don't want to ruffle any feathers to get any further, okay? And he, and he kind of wanted to, to um, because Batiatus is not like that, Batiatus is very ambitious. He wants more. You give him, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You give him lemons. He wants to make lemonades. He don't want to just drink lemon juice. You know what I'm saying? Every, you know, cut it open and just eat it. He wants to make some lemonade. He wants to add some sugar to it. You know what I'm saying? He, he wants he wants to get in there. Maybe some Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's that type of guy. He's ambitious. He wants to see things go to their full potential. He wants himself to achieve his full potential. He feels like he has greater purpose. So he's going to push. He's going to push no matter what. No matter what. You might not agree with his methods for getting to where he wants to go, but He's ambitious as hell. His father is not like that. His father is like, I have this position. Um, I don't want to ruffle any feathers. I just want to be in this position and that's it. Whatever they say is whatever they say. I don't want to mess shit up. So, you know what I'm saying? His father is a yes man, as we would call him. We would call people like that a yes man. Like, whatever you, you ask them to do is yes, yes, yes. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And people don't understand. Yes man. They don't go very far in life. They don't go very far in life. You get what I'm saying? They are some yes men that do get elevated in life, but yes men usually don't. The odds are against them in so many ways because if everything people tell you to do, you just do it, do it, do it. A lot of times they, they look at you as very inferior to them. So they don't elevate you in that circumstance because you never challenge them about anything and you just agree with every single thing that they said. So, we have that dynamic going on. The first scene in this show, what the hell was that, man? What's with the, what's with this? The, they took it a step further. It's not, that wasn't even like, you could say it's still softcore porn. But, I mean, the only thing left for them to do is pull dick. And pull dick out and we see penetration that's the only thing left i mean just describe softcore porn but whatever it was just so much more intense they were showing so much more you know what i'm saying like we, we i never saw you know what i'm saying tits getting licked or anything like that you know what i mean like we never saw that before we saw that in this um in in this episode you know what i'm saying like it it got to the point you know what i'm saying where i was like what am i watching here you know what i'm saying like this i could never ever even consider putting this stuff on youtube you know what i'm saying like it this shit is too it's too much and it's such a big part of the show you know what i'm saying like it's a good thing i'm uploading this somewhere else where they don't really mind <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't know maybe if they maybe if they um come across it they might take these videos down off a bit shoot i don't know but for now seems like it's okay but the story is progressing very now i like the fact that we get to see how Crixus won his first match in the arena how he became so famous. how did he become champion of capua um doctor um anime is taking up the role of doctore even though he didn't want it it's still this awkwardness going on between Ganicus and Anime's wife. I can't remember her name. Um, of course, there's going to be awkwardness. But there's this other scene that was very disturbing to me where I had to stop the video because I was I was like, I can't watch stuff like that. Like, I had to watch it because I'm doing the reaction. But it was like, you know, I was wondering, like, what was going through these people's mind when they created this scene? And a lot of times when you see scenes like this, usually when you hear stories about it, you know what I'm saying? Like when you hear stories about like, how could you as actors do that scene and make it seem so real? You get what I'm saying? How did you get through it? 
You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, the person who's being dominant in that scene, example, the guy that was really smug and stuff like that and acting like that, usually when they, when when you interview them, they'll say to you, like, man, you have no idea how after how much I was apologizing to this woman. You know what I'm saying? Because you just feel so guilty for doing something like that and make it, making it seem enjoyable. It's like real life kind of surpasses acting in those moments because you're like you're looking at it and you're like why am i doing this why should i have to play something like this you get what i'm saying but you also got to understand that you're portraying something that actually used to happen women used to get they were treated like nothing especially if they you know slaves and stuff like that they don't have a choice in the matter she was basically raped in that scene you know what i'm saying and she was a virgin who and she was a virgin too so that makes it even more you know what i'm saying it just makes it even more weird you know what i'm saying or devastating i should say not weird but devastating more devastating for her because it's it, it, you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure she don't expect her first time to be like that you know what i'm saying and they sacrificed so much and still did not get what they want. And that's what hurts the most. That's what hurts the most. Is the fact that they, they made all these sacrifices again with Batiatas. Making all of these sacrifices. People. The slaves. And all of these people that he... That he it's, just, it's just so crazy. That he keeps doing the same shit over and over again. Even through you he started early and then in season one you saw the lengths that he would go to get what the fuck he wants and i think he's going to kill his dad it's not going to surprise me if he does you know what i'm saying i think he is going to kill his father because his father is dated man he's dated and knowing batiatas batiatas is good if we give a shit about both both you know what i'm saying like I think he's going to kill him to get rid of him, you know, so he can take over the house. But we'll see, uh, you know, how that turns out, you know. Um, so, hey, man, at least Barker showed Crixus some respect. Asher is still, a, I, I, I still don't like him, even though I'm seeing him in a kind of a different light and understand why he's so angry. Um, but I also understand, as I pointed out during the episode, I, now I understand why, you know, Animaeus or Doctor at the time in season one was trying to tell him what, what, when they faced off at the end, you know, when they faced off at the end, like why he doesn't give him that kind of respect as a gladiator is because the way how he earned the mark was not the way how you're supposed to earn the mark. So he gets no respect. He was never a gladiator. So um awesome times man awesome times i liked i loved the episode but it's just some of it was just really hard to watch but anyways man thank you guys so much for tuning in as always and i will catch you guys later just remember to like subscribe if you're new and leave a comment in the comment section man as you guys always do thank you guys so much i will catch you guys next time peace